Hey, how's it going? Paul here with Eastwind SEO. I'm just going to make you a short video showing you the advantages of having an optimized website and how it can bring you some more business. So first thing first, I'm going to put in, I know your shop that you opened up is in Northport. So we're going to look up auto repair in Northport. And the first thing you're going to see here is the Google map pack. So these three uh, right here, this is the map pack and you're going to want to get into that. Um, and cause they're going to, they're the ones who are going to get most of the business, you know, through the online. Um, and the way you do that is by having a Google business profile. Um, and once you get that set up, you're going to want to fill it out with your business name, uh, your business address, phone number, things like that. As my, fill it out as much as you can with as much information about your business as possible. Right. And then after that, you want to get citations. So citations are going to be the exact business name, number, address that is in your Google business profile. And you're going to put those into online directories. Now, online directories could be anything from Yelp to yellow pages and so on. There's tons of online directories that you can put your business into that will help you move up the ranks and get you into this top three. So after that, you're going to see the local organic search. Okay. And right now these, these right here, those all look like directories, which can you, you know, outrank those? Absolutely. Yes, you can, uh, with the right SEO strategy, you can definitely move up past them. Um, and it looks like what we got here is Frank's family auto care, which is actually in Port Charlotte, but this looks like a location page. So if we click on it and since you don't have a website, uh, I'm going to go over their website and, you know, kind of give you an idea of what, you know, it can get you and where you can be with a, a properly optimized website that's going to rank. Um, so if let's go to their homepage, cause this is a location page. So if we go to their homepage, <clears throat> I mean, it's an all right looking website. Um, they have a click call button, which is good. That's definitely something you want. They have their location, um, uh, contact us, a contact form. Um, a contact form is definitely something you want to have. Um, that they can fill out and just send you a direct message. Um, also a click the call button, not a whole lot of content. So Google loves content and it is recommended to have at least 1500 words of content on your homepage on your website. And the reason for that being is Google's going to send out, uh, crawlers that are going to crawl your page. And what they do is they look for keywords in that content that are relevant to your business, your services, your location. Um, and that's what they're going to look for. And it's going to tell Google, you know, that you're legit, you know what you're doing. You're an expert in your field. And that's something that's going to help you rank up to the front of, uh, the Google organic search. So you definitely want to get, uh, you know, a good amount of content in there and keywords are going to be anything that that, you know, a customer or a client will put in the Google and, you know, searching for a certain product or, you know, a service. And that's what those crawlers are looking for. So I'm going to take, uh, these guys and I'm going to put them into a tool that I use called a refs. Um, and I use it to check out sites and how they're performing and, you know, see what we can do. Now we can see there's a bunch of information on here, but we're going to focus up here. Um, now, first off, you're going to see this UR and DR rating. So the UR and DR is like a trust and a power rating in Google's eyes. So they have a decent uh, trust with Google. Um, their power that their website is getting could definitely do better. This is definitely something that you want to move these both two numbers up as high as you can. And you want to keep them in like a close ratio with each other. Um, and the way to do that is with backlinks. So backlinks 
as you can see here, they have 371 backlinks, um, 56 referring domains. So a backlink is basically a shout out from another website or a comment blog or anything like that. An example would be like if a comment blog had somebody referring to you, uh, your shop, and they said, hey, you know, these guys are great. They're awesome. You should definitely go check them out. And that they have a link or a button that, you know, somebody will click and it will link it will right back to your site. And that's a backlink. And you want to get, you know, a, a good amount of backlinks. Um, quantity is definitely not as important as quality when it comes to backlinks. Uh, you definitely want to get quality backlinks. You don't want like an ice cream shop to try to refer you know, back to your, your website, because there's no relevancy there. Um, so you definitely want to have a relevant, powerful backlinks, and that'll bring up this, uh, DR rating and, and UR rating as well. Also keywords that we're looking at over here, they have 889 keywords. They have a ton of keywords. Um, you know, they're getting a ton of traffic. This is every month. Uh, if we take a look at their keywords real quick, you can see, you know, Mini Cooper service near me, the volume for that's how many people are searching for that keyword on a monthly basis. So that's 2,300 clicks, you know, or customers that, you know, they could potentially be getting, uh, that's, or just traffic going to the website. That's a lot of traffic. Um, same thing with Port Charlotte auto repair. They're getting a hundred volume Frank's auto repair, 1300. So these are all. Uh, keywords that you know they you could be using in content on that front page and you know this all adds up after you you start putting more keywords in and they start getting found and that's gonna you know it's gonna bring you a lot of traffic so in review you want to have a, a website first and then on that website you're gonna want to have at least 1500 words content on the front page with uh, keywords that you know are relevant to you and that people are going to search for and then you're going to want to have your google business profile um you want to have that optimized and get as many citations up as possible for that and then you want to have quality backlinks uh linking back to your website and then with all that you know that's going to definitely see your website and your google business profile um rank up to that front page of Google and you know, that should start bringing you a good amount of clients just, you know, through the internet alone. So with that being said, I hope you could take some of this information, um, and use it once you get a website up and running or, or your Google business profile. Um, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I do have my contact information on here. I'll shoot it up real quick. Uh, and I also, I'm going to send you an email and I'll have all the information in the email as well. Um, and I do look forward to, forward to working with, with you and, uh, I hope you have a nice day.